Taiwan plant-based foods. You have many choices in food, but now you have another option. Plant-based foods is now the trend. They are made from soybeans, peas, vitamins, etc. Consumers can take in nutrients while enjoying these products. Taiwan is praised by CNN as one of the top vegan-friendly countries in the world and has a long history of producing various plant-based foods. With years of R&D experience, Taiwan has the advantages in innovation and pricing and can produce various customized products according to different demands. In Taiwan, we attach great importance to the texture of products, so we have developed excellent fiber structure which can meet the dietary habits of various countries. Plant-based meat products can be made into various prepared foods to enrich your meals. Now, consumers can choose a wide range of ready-to-eat foods made by plant-based products easier than before. From vegan jerky to protein snacks and drinks, Taiwan can offer different choices. Welcome to Source the Plant-Based Products from Taiwan. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, greetings. Welcome to the 2021 Taiwan Plant Based Foods Product Launch Event, co organized by the Bureau of Foreign Trade and Taitra. Today, six representatives of Taiwanese companies will present their high quality plant based foods to all of you, including vegan meat, vegan poached eggs, and noodles with vegan meat. Let's welcome the Executive Vice President Simon Wang of Taitra to give an opening remark. Greetings. I'm very happy to meet you online. There's a sci-fi movie called Her. It's about virtual lovers. And I would say that maybe we are virtual strangers right now, but after today's event, we will become partners. The COVID-19 pandemic started in January last year, and it has caused devastation of the entire population. We see how fragile human beings could be. We see the suffering of human beings. We see our freedoms being restricted. And we see people getting into negative thinking. But from the positive side, we see that the air quality is becoming better because public transportation and the migration of population has been reduced. So the air quality has been improved. We know that the global animal husbandry industry emit a lot of methane. In fact, the methane emitted accounts for about 14.5% of greenhouse gases. And transportation accounts for about 14%. So you see that the animal husbandry industry emits more greenhouse gases than transportation. So human beings today really can do something for the world. And we have reached a consensus that we really need to slow down global warming and reduce climate change. Despite all the tensions and conflicts um, that we see today, whether in Israel or other areas, we have a consensus that really we have to slow down global climate change. And let me get back to today's event. We organized today's event for plant-based food because we believe that it's a meaningful event. With plant-based food, human beings can work 
to reduce global warming, slow down climate change, and also reduce pollution. Today we have six representatives who will present their high quality products. And finally, I would like to stress that we really need to protect the planet together. Thank you very much. Next, let's welcome Ms. Amelia Day, the Secretary General of the Bureau of Foreign Trade, to give an opening remark. Executive Vice President Wang, representatives from Taiwan and abroad, greetings. I'm very glad to attend today's event on behalf of the Bureau of Foreign Trade of the MOEA. We are seeing an increase of vegetarian and vegan population. More and more consumers now choose to have vegetarian or vegan diet for environmental protection and animal welfare. A quarter of young people in the U.S. are vegetarian or vegan. At the same time, CNS ranked Taipei as one of the top 10 most popular cities for vegan cuisines. According to our survey, in 2019, the economic scale for global vegan meat has reached 12 billion U.S. dollars, and by 2025, it will reach 27.9 billion U.S. dollars. So we will see a significant increase in the future. Another report also showed that Taiwan's vegetarian population in 2020 has surpassed 3 million, which is about 13% of our population, similar to uh, Switzerland and Brazil, although we are still behind Mexico and India. The increasing demand for vegan meat has also stimulated the growth in supply. So our suppliers have come up with a variety of high quality vegan meat and plant-based meat products and plant-based foods. At present, the export output of our vegan meat has reached 18.8 billion new Taiwan dollars. To help businesses in Taiwan to seize the opportunity, the Bureau of Foreign Trade has collaborated with our representative offices abroad to collect data. At present, we have completed the market survey of the UK, the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, Vietnam, Japan, Malaysia, and more. And we will show the result on the website of TradeMac. Also, to facilitate the collaboration between Taiwanese and international businesses and to allow businesses in Taiwan to showcase their products, we collaborate with Fine Food Australia and Malaysian International Food and Beverage Trade Fair to showcase our products. Today, we have invited six representatives to showcase their vegan meat, vegan poached eggs, noodles with vegan meat, and plant-based milk. I would like to show my gratitude to Taitra for helping us making all the presentation videos, hoping that these presentations will allow more buyers to know more about Taiwan's plant-based food. And on May 26th and 27th, we will organize one-on-one -on -one online procurement meeting so we can have more collaboration in the future. Once again, thank you very much for your participation online, and we, I wish all of you safe and healthy. First, let's welcome today's first presenter, Golden Crops Corporation. Among the many vegetarian protein options, such as wheat protein and soy protein, pea protein is the most difficult one to pro process. But Golden Crops have come up with sun gift meat with pea protein because it, it has less issues with GMO and it's less likely to cause an allergy. Let's welcome Mr. Jack Xie from Golden Crops. We call our product Sunlift plant-based meat instead of vegetarian meat. It's because its texture, its appearance, and the way you cook it is really similar to real meat. Sunlift is the only plant-based meat that uses pea protein in Taiwan. 
For seasoning, we use juice, Italian balsamic vinegar, and oak plums to make sure that it will taste delicious. We also use the most advanced technology with IQF of minus 80 degree to ensure that we can freeze the sun-lived plant-based meat within 15 minutes and consumers when they take it out and cook it it will feel like the meat was just being produced. We also want to make sure that it's nutritious in addition to tasty. So all the vitamins and minerals resemble real meat. So whether we are talking about the patty or our mince, we would resemble the vitamins and minerals. In addition to being delicious and tasty, at the same time when you are consuming sun-lived plant-based meat, you are also doing your part for the environment. We have three different types of meat. The first one is the patty, which is really convenient. You can take it out, out of the refrigerator, put it on the fry pan, cook it slowly for 10 minutes, and then it's ready to eat. We also have two types of mince. You will need to first uh, defreeze the mince. Then you can cook it like any regular pork meat. So you can cook braised pork balls, um, spaghetti with meatballs, or pork buns. Plant-based meat will be the future and will be one of the choices for our consumption in the future. So why not try some plant-based meat today? In addition to plant-based meat, we also have a lot of our ex a lot of expectations for ourselves. So in the future, we will introduce vegan cheese, vegan poached eggs, and we will also try to produce straws made of rice. We will look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Next, we would like to welcome the representatives from All Good Bio. All Good Bio's core technology is plant protein. In addition to the popular Beyond Meat, the company will continue to develop natural food using plant protein because they really want to help reduce the problem of water, land and energy overconsumption and also reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. And now let's welcome the general manager, Li Ruyi. Greetings. I'm sure you have all heard about Beyond Meat. This is the future for diet in the future. And in Asia, plant-based meat is also very popular. I'm the representative of All Good Bio. At present, our plant meat brand, Veg Bong, has applied for registration in 19 different countries in the world and we have received approval in Singapore, Beijing, United States, and Taiwan. My name is Li Rui. I'm the CEO and general manager. Our company was established in June 2019. At that time, we focused on plant-based protein. So we started to develop plant-based meat. The founder of our company, Wu Di Ye, Dr. Wu Di Ye, is an expert of plant protein and beans. After graduating from National Taiwan University, he continued his study in the University of Illinois at Champaign, and he stayed in the U.S. for a long time. Now he has returned to Taiwan to develop plant protein food. Taiwan is the capital of gourmet food and is famous for its vegetarian dishes. But do you know that actually the technology to develop plant meat also originated from Taiwan? Our technology to produce texture, protein, meat uh, comes from the food industry research and development institute. So we use twin screw high moisture extruder to produce vegan meat. We provide our product with relatively reasonable prices so that they can fit in your daily life easily. You can choose from our variety of vegan chicken nuggets, vegan hamburger patty, 
vegan ground meat and ready-to-eat buns, as well as vegan prawns. We collaborated with famous vegetarian chef uh, Mr. Hong Inlong to create delicious flavors uh, for various ready-to-eat meal. We strive for innovation, so at right now we are also developing functional plant protein beverages and snacks. We will continue to expand our market to Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, Europe, and the United States and Canada. Which bone will enrich your kitchen with delicious, convenient, and healthy food? Thank you very much. Next up is Neo Foods. Neo Foods is a subsidiary company of Da Chen, and Da Chen has over 50 years of experience to develop new type of protein food. After numerous trials, they have finally come up with a new brand called Neoplan, and they insist to provide consumers with delicious and safe plant protein food. Let's welcome Janet from New Food Company. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm really honored to be here today to talk to you about Neo Foods, and I would like to thank the organizer for the opportunity. These days, we have faced a lot of challenges, and also over the past few years, the extreme weather events have made us wonder what is happening to the world. Like many other companies, Da Chen is also changing. We hope to bring consumers with more valuable foods. In the past half century, Da Chen has developed different types of plant-based protein food from farms to pastries to your dining table. Actually, Da Chen is one of the biggest meat company in Taiwan and also it's a company that specializes in soya beans. So we really understand the characteristics of meat and we understand how to process soya beans. So to make sure that consumers can get healthy, delicious proteins, we have gone through numerous trials, and finally, Neoplan was born. Neoplan actually has its own research and development team, and at the same time, with the abundant experience of Da Chen and also our partner company's experience in ready-to-eat meals, we are sure that we can bring consumers with safe and delicious plant-based food. Take minced pork as a starting point. We started to produce plant-based minced pork. So we have a variety of products like meatballs, chicken dice, and also beef dice. For busy families and for singles, we have ready-to-eat meals like this one. You just need to heat it up for several minutes before you serve it. And we also provide a variety of flavors like compound chicken, general choice uh, chicken, and also chicken with sesame. So if you have not tried plant meat before, think of it as real meat. So consumers who love plant-based meat and also general consumers who favor regular diet can try our new plant. Due to the time limitation, I can uh, ha I have to stop here. But if you have any other questions, or if you would like to have more detailed information, please do contact us. Thank you very much. Next, the representative of Zai Ziwei. Zai Ziwei was established in 1991. Over the past 30 years, it has developed a variety of high-quality vegan and ovo-lacto vegetarian products. Using non-GMO, soy protein, and enzyme firm texture, vegan protein, and using enzyme fermentation technology, we produce products with high fiber, high protein, low fat, and no cholesterol. We also do not add any preservatives, MSG, or any other additives to our products. Our products have 
in 35 with HACCP and ISO certification, so you can be assured of our hygiene and safety as well as our quality. Our main product is vegan bacon slice. It is one of the most popular vegan product of our company. It tastes really similar uh, like a regular bacon, so it can fit into your regular diet. Our product has been exported to other countries for many years. We have exported this product to Australia, Canada, the United States, European Union, Singapore, Russia, and Hong Kong. And we continue co to collaborate with our partners to provide them with high quality product. It is a featured product for the plant meat market today. Next, I would like to talk about our vegan bacon crumbles. This is a derivative from the vegan bacon slice. You can eat it like a snake, or you can put it in your salad or soup to add more flavor. The next one is our Biyami vegan burger. It is very similar to Beyond Burger, but it's bigger, and its weight is 130 grand. The price is also cheaper. This product has been exported to Australia and Hong Kong. Next is our vegan flesh meatballs. We use Italian seasoning to create this product and it tastes really similar like the meatball you can find in IKEA. You can use it with any type of sauce and you can also grill it. So regular cons general consumers, at restaurants, hotels can all use this as a good ingredient. And then the next one is our vegan luncheon meat. You can slice it up to make sandwiches or you can cut it thicker, add cheese, tomatoes, lettuce to create a delicious meal. And finally, this is our vegan bolognic pasta sauce. It is a great sauce for various pasta. The biggest difference is that you will find minced vegan meat and tomatoes in the sauce. So it is great for one or two people enjoying a meal together. It's 200 grams. These are our products and our presentation. Thank you very much. I would like to remind all the participants that if you have any questions, please scan the QR code to post your question on Slido. We will ask the representatives to answer your questions after the event. Next is Hongyang Food Corporation. It is one of Taiwan's major manufacturers of artificial meat products. It has nearly 30 years of experience to develop different vegan and plant-based meat to replace steak, nuggets, and shrimps. They even have vegan energy bars, so consumers around the world have a lot of plant-based protein products to choose from. Let's welcome business development manager, Mr. Tim Shed. Hongyang Foods has accumulated 25 years of experience in the development and application of plant-based protein. We produce textured plant meat and we use soya, wheat and pea protein to develop different vegan meat with different textures. We also use our own artificial meat to develop a series of frozen meat products, vegan meat products, and vegan seafood products. We use conjac, pexin, and beetroot to create vegan seafood that resemble the texture and taste of real shrimps and seafood. 
These products have been exported to various countries abroad. And in addition to frozen products, we also have snacks like vegan jerky, and we have a variety of flavors including jalapeno, black pepper, lemon teriyaki, and so on. All our products have received international certification including halal, non-GMO, and so on. And so you can find our products in many international supermarkets. We have a lot of experience to export our products, and if you have any question, please do feel free to contact us. Thank you very much. Our last presenter today is Polymath. Polymath was established by one of the biggest vegetarian food suppliers in Taiwan. And their first product is the first kind of dry noodle with plant meat. It's called Su Su noodles. And it has become very popular among the consumers. Let's welcome the representative of Polymass, the general manager, Harry Chen. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, greetings. I am the general manager of Polymass. I would like to introduce a new product to you. It's called Su Su Noodles. It's the first type of dry noodles that integrate plant meat. Dry noodles is now one of the most popular products exported from Taiwan. So while you are enjoying the dry noodles, you can also enjoy plant meat from Taiwan. It's easy, convenient for all the consumers. The plant meat from inside susu noodles is made of pea protein and it's put inside the aluminum pouch. Because we use pea protein, so it, it's less likely to cause allergy and it can create different fragrance and texture compared with vegan meat made of soya protein. After ultra high temperature sterilization, the plant meat can resemble the texture and flavor of minced pork. In addition, our product is quite easy to prepare, so you don't need to go through complicated cooking processes. We also have a variety of flavors for the susu noodles. Whether you like um, black pepper or mushroom and tomatoes, or whether you like soya sauce or mushroom and fried bean, you can enjoy them with susu noodles. All the plant meat we use in susu noodles are all vegan, no preservatives, no MSGs, and no additives. All our partner companies have received HACCP and ISO certification. So we really look forward to for you to taste our products. We will continue to strive for better products in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all the presenters. We hope that through today's event, international consumers and buyers will know more about Taiwan's plant-based food, and we hope to create more business opportunities. If you are interested to know more or to raise questions, please use the QR code to post your question or to provide us with your feedback. Thank you very much for your participation.
Taiwan plant-based foods. You have many choices in food, but now you have another option. Plant-based foods is now the trend. They are made from soybeans, peas, vitamins, etc. Consumers can take in nutrients while enjoying these products. Taiwan is praised by CNN as one of the top vegan-friendly countries in the world and has a long history of producing various plant-based foods. With years of R&D experience, Taiwan has the advantages in innovation and pricing and can produce various customized products according to different demands. In Taiwan, we attach great importance to the texture of products, so we have developed excellent fiber structure which can meet the dietary habits of various countries. Plant-based meat products can be made into various prepared foods to enrich your meals. Now, consumers can choose a wide range of ready-to-eat foods made by plant-based products easier than before. From vegan jerky to protein snacks and drinks, Taiwan can offer different choices. Welcome to Source the Plant-Based Products from Taiwan.